projects in here that hit a lot of roadblocks that made it a pretty, a pretty challenging winter. And we think there's a lot to be learned, but that doesn't always necessarily get you, get you the award, right, or the prize at a science fair. And so we really think it's important to recognize projects, and every year we try and pick one in particular that really embody the perseverance that's so important for scientific and engineering projects. Um, and we've named this award after one of my favorite mentors, my favorite science fair mentor, Val Lekansky, again, who ran the science fair program, built this entire program, and just retired last year. Um, for anyone who worked with her, had her as a teacher, some of you and your parents might have, or um, worked with her at first science fair, she's incredibly dedicated and one of the most hardworking teachers you'll ever work with. And whenever she ran into a trouble mentoring a project or teaching something, she always persevered and figured out a way to make it work. And so we look for a project that kind of embodies that spirit of Val and that um, made her such a great teacher and a great mentor and a great scientist. And so this year, we're very excited to award this prize to Deirdre Belger and Morgan Berenson. Um, so Morgan and Deirdre ran into some trouble, which is all of their fruit flies died. And then instead of saying, oh, well, what are we going to do now? And I said, I have no more money for you. Um, they came up with a whole other procedure they could add to their project. They figured out how to do a titration. When I ran into getting the flu, they figured out how to do it without a mentor there, and they did a really great job, and I was so impressed that as sophomores, they were able to basically do two projects in one winter, and they never let a disappointing result keep them down. So there is a plaque downstairs outside the science um, offices where their names will be engraved, and what a, what a great legacy to, to carry on that perseverance. So congratulations. Okay, so the top three prizes, we're really excited. We have a wide range of projects and grades represented, which is always really exciting. So in third place, we are thrilled to announce this uh, prize goes to Sahibi Pagula and Tanisha Rajgore, Efficient Detection and Mitigation. <laughs> efficient Detection and Mitigation of Neurological Diseases Using Machine Learning, ANN, and Regressional Models. and USAR. Okay, and then our top prize this year goes to a senior we're very excited to honor. He had a, quite a busy day. Not only did he win first prize at Science Fair, he then went and took a three-hour math test and came back to collect his prize. So uh, we have a lot of very talented students. We're very proud of him. This goes uh, first place goes to Adwe Nene. <laughs> Patient specific delivery of proton beam radiation. So, congratulations. <laughs> All right, so those are our top three projects. Congratulations. And now we are going to announce 12 additional projects that are going to move on to regionals. The regionals is on March 13th at WPI. Um, these are in no particular order, so we're really excited. We're going to ask you to come on up. We'll announce your name and your title, and then if you could just wait up here till the end, that would be great. So the next student going to regionals is Rohan Minosha, Distributed Systems for Emergency Prevention, Detection, and Management. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next project goes to Farihar Fardin, the effect of EGCG on tumor growth and planaria. <laughs> Farihar is also our social coordinator and has decided that we need more team bonding this year, so has spearheaded a, a spaghetti dinner for our regionals, so I'm very excited. So thank you to Tanisha, or Farihar for really putting together uh, such a great, a great team bonding for us, so we're very excited. The next project is going to go to Mantra Rajkumar, the Shelmet Biomimicry for Impact Resistance. Okay, our next team going on to regionals is Alana Miller and Elisa Stolier. Let's meet this week. is 
Elon Rosen and Shazan Khan, engineering of congenic Huntington cell line and further applications. The next team is a team of freshmen. We're really excited. They put together a great presentation today and got a lot of very, very positive feedback from the judges. Neil Abraham, Brian Gu, and Barat Makala. year going on to regional, so this goes to Nathan Foster, reducing unnecessary power consumption. Our next team moving on is Archita Namalakanti and Shrija Bola, NeoHB, a non-invasive optical biosensor diagnosing neonatal anemia. Congratulations. Our next team is another team of incredibly hardworking freshmen. These guys were in the lab constantly all, all winter. We're really proud of them. Congratulations to Albert Chen, Ryan Darbanga, and Jeffrey Wayne. The, um, the relationship between obesity and the microbiome and C. elegans. Our next team is Simran Carr and Kevin Gu, the effects of herbal products and the drosophilia model of epilepsy. We're really proud of them. They've taken on a lot. They're involved in so many activities at the school. To fit in a science fair project is really impressive. Uh, it goes to Kelly Title, Olopa Waje, and Ann Zhu. <laughs> Life in Plastic Ain't So Fantastic, a, a title that really brings out my, my youth, so thank you for that. And our last project we're really excited to announce, um, it's very hard at a science fair to place well with a human subject project. It takes a lot of work. This team collected an enormous amount of data. I think they had 320 different data points, a huge amount of data analysis, working so hard all through application. Um, we're really proud to announce Kira Sward, Celia Jenkins, and Fiona Madeira. Project was build your own mayor, a study of confirmation bias. So we 